Hey everybody, welcome Wada! to the first official episode of Pop One Coffee and Joysticks. I am your host, H.B. Gibson. First and foremost, I want to thank you, the worldwide YouTube audience, for checking out the channel, for checking out the video. Please do me a favor and dragon kick that like button. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so that way you can get notifications of brand new content. Okay, I'm going to try to make this short and sweet. This channel is going through a change, all right? At first, it was all about movies, entertainment, and what's playing, what's streaming, what's popping in the world of entertainment. Well, I'm going to be moving that over to my other channel called The X Zone, all right? Stick around at the end of the video for a link to that channel or if you want to go there now we will have new content on the channel very very soon you can check the link in the description below now you're probably wondering harold what made you decide to go ahead and turn this into a gaming channel well actually i have to blame my love rouge rose saying why don't you just do a gaming channel and it would appear that as soon as i announced it people were interested so i said why not and the very, very first game that I can play on this channel is a game that I'm quite sure a lot of you know something about, especially in regards to me, because I'm a voice actor. Bloodwash. Yes, we're going to be playing the game that I voice acted in. Now, if you don't know, the name of my character, Officer Burton, is in this game and he's a playable character a lot of you probably already played this game if you haven't played this game before i guess i just spoiled it for you but you know what i'm rambling let's play blood wash and yes we are about to play blood wash ladies and gentlemen a video game from torture star video jordan king henry jorge and released by puppet combo the greatest independent gaming company ever you know them from wonderful video games like nun massacre murder house and a whole slew of others one of my personal favorites is spiders so we're gonna go ahead and play this and for those of you who don't know uh, puppet combo they specialize in releasing games that use uh, retro style uh, uh, graphics you know, along the lines of Resident Evil and Silent Hill, you know, they use these PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 type of graphics, and it just brings back such warmth and nostalgia because there's always something fun and creepy about those old horror games. So, this is a wonderful game. I played through it a couple of times already, especially now because I messed up quite a few times trying to do this episode. It's taken a lot of work, so you watching, I appreciate it. Here we go. It's time to get scary. That was corny. Time to get scary. Like, it's hammer time. Or where's the beef? Uh, I'm old, y'all. You turn my age backwards. I'm 25. What a day. Let's go. Sir Watt was his usual miserable self, and that test was a killer. Hopefully I can just relax and... And... Of course. And... Liam and didn't what? do the laundry or clean. <laughs> I'll have to do a load of laundry. I have an interview for a job tomorrow and have nothing to wear. Oh, I'll gather these clothes up and head to the laundry room Liam. in the basement. I'm going to have to talk to Liam later. I'm too upset and tired to go through it again. He's... He's gonna have to pull it through the cat to to take care of this baby. I'm sorry that I cut the, the cut the uh, the the lines and everything. And, you know, Liam, I kind of find out that uh, this game is actually canon to a little show called Shameless. If you remember, there was a little kid there named Liam. Uh, this game pretty much takes place um, when uh, Liam grows up, and uh, obviously you don't see Liam in here, and and and. Um, 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 that was whack. <laughs> okay, let's pick up some clothes. Who drops clothes in the middle of the kitchen? All right, I think that's all of the dirty laundry. Time to go to the basement. So, 
where 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 are they? I'm not trying to diss nobody's city, but it's Matt Matt Fang, let me shut up before I get a whole lot of hateful comments and blah. So you're talking about my city. Well, I am from Newark. <laughs> not that that means anything, but except for the fact that I'm from there. What's this? The headline reads, Womb Ripper Strikes Again. In the early hours of the 30th, authorities were called when a passerby found a terribly mangled corpse haphazardly tossed on the nearby grounds. Sources indicate that the woman was indeed pregnant, and just like previous victims, the fetus was cut out and assumed to be taken by the assailant. This is now the fourth victim in as many weeks, and authorities are struggling to come up with leads in one of the most gruesome crime sprees this city has ever endured. A little extra voice acting for you. I am a voice actor, yes. Please do stay tuned because there's a wonderful audio drama. If you're into audio dramas, if you want to take it back to back in the day of the radio dramas, uh, there's an audio drama that I am a part of called uh, Boston Metaphysical, The Boston Metaphysical Society, The Ghost Ship. It is based on the comics by Madeline Holly Rosing, and I play the part of Thomas Edison, believe it or not. It is a steampunk alternate history adventure. Really, really cool. <laughs> Please go to bostonmetaphysicalsociety.com. I will put the link in the description below for your pleasure. Such an ominous sound in the basement. What? Out of order? What am I going to do now? I'm going to go to Tashi Station and get some power converters! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a Star Wars fan way back. <laughs> I should probably go back upstairs and figure something out. I think you should too. It's broken. Okay, okay, let me just go ahead back. Uh, oh, oh, I think I heard something coming from that closet! Who's hiding in the closet? Who's hiding in the closet? Someone's in the closet. Someone got in the closet. Go check out the closet. Gonna press the button and go to the closet. <laughs> oh! Hobo Joe was in the closet. <laughs> oh man! God damn, girl, you scared the big Jesus out of me. God damn. I scared you? You scared me! What the hell are you doing creeping around down here? Ooh, that was a- uh, listen, I played this game several times and you think that you're ready for the jump scare even though you know the jump scare is there, but it always catches me off guard every time. Look, I'm sorry for scaring you. I'll tell you, but can you keep this to yourself? Depends upon what it is. Jesus Christ, Joe, you're insane. Yeah, I can. What's up? Uh, the missus kicked me out and it's too cold outside, so I'm trying to wait her out down here. I really didn't mean to creep on you. Honest. I believe you. Just next time maybe don't go around slinging doors open and hiding in the dark. Yeah, and, 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 and looking like you're like one of the Duck Dynasty. No, 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 that, that's a bad analogy. I don't think Duck... Do Duck Dynasty wear, wear plaid shirts? Until I know absolutely nothing. All right. I will. Thanks, kid. Say, if you want to use the washing machine, it's uh, broken. Yeah, thanks. I figured that out. Yeah. Big shout out to Olivia Steele for doing such a wonderful job as the lead as Sarah. Big shout out to all the wonderful voice actors uh, who lent their their amazing talent to this game. Every single one of you did such a wonderful job, and uh, I look forward to hopefully working with with Jordan King and Henry Jorge again. Torture Star Video, the developers of Bloodwash.
Oh, that wonderful creaky door that we always come to know and love that always uh, brings the atmosphere to these scary games. It's about that time, ladies and gentlemen. It's about that time. It's about time to meet our amazingly cool neighbor, Stan. Stan the man. What's up, What's up Sarah? What's happening, Jack? Oh, you know, trying mm -hmm. to balance life, school, and job hunting. I'm trying to see if I can find myself a bottle of Henny. <laughs> it's a tough world these days. Liam been treating you well. Treating well, everything all right, girlfriend. You know, he, he does kind of resemble um a a, a, a minister by the name of T.D. Jakes. Are you, am I familiar with the preacher T.D. Jakes? Kind of looks like him a little bit. When he isn't drunk, yeah. Look, you'll tell me if it gets bad. Yeah. Yeah. I know it ain't easy to talk about, and you don't have to tell me nothing. Just promise me you'll tell me you if you need help. Nothing. You ain't gotta tell me thee. <laughs> uh, to to the person that has done, uh, who who did the voice uh 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 work for this particular character, you you nailed it, bro. You nailed it. Big up to you. My sister used to be in a bad situation too, and there's places you can go. Yeah, the YMCA. I appreciate that, Stan. I really do. Yeah, sure. You doing some laundry at this time of night? I'm trying to. Of course, when I really need it, the washer downstairs is broken. Ain't, Ain't that some shit. <laughs> That's very, very brother. That's very, very black sounding right there. And I can say that because, you know, listen, growing up the way I've grown up and everything in the hood in Newark, New Jersey, man, I've grown up around the most brother of brothers. <laughs> and when they say, ain't this some shit, it is. <laughs> they mean that. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of shit, I have an interview tomorrow, so I guess I'll show up smelling like crap. Well, if it's an emergency, I heard of this laundromat that's open 24-7, just outside of town. Still early enough to catch the last bus. I have to say, though. It's a hell of a time to be out so late, especially with that maniac roaming around. I'm a big girl, Stan. Do you know the address? Sure, sure. Let me write it down for you. Just promise me you'll take care, I. So I better grab my purse before I head to that laundromat. By the way, these videos are really only going to be about like 20, 25 minutes. So that way I don't, I don't waste your time very much and... With my little setup and everything, I really can't record that long anyway. Oh goodness, the the the, the recording setup that I have, uh, I'm using a laptop. I'm using a, a Hewitt Packard laptop. Uh, I'm using Audacity to record my voice, and I'm using a Canon T6i Rebel to record the video. So the audio is being done with the Audacity. Uh, the game itself is being recorded with an Xbox uh, capture uh, app built into my my laptop. So I couldn't use OBS. It was way too choppy, way too laggy. So it is what it is. I just have a lot of work to do as far as editing. But if you guys watch enough and you guys like what you see and you let me know that you like it it'll be all worth it and i'll make sure that i have at least one video up a week now this cat this one right here this thing looks like it should be animated and it's going void 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 <laughs> doesn't it look like he's about to do that like like his head is about to shimmer like void Void. <laughs> oh, let me fix my headphones. <laughs> hey, dude. Obviously, it's not hi there. Okay. Are you okay? Can I get you anything? It's gone. They, they, they took it. 
Mm. Did someone steal something from you? They took it. The people in the walls, they, they took it from me. See, I don't feel oh, so God. bad. She's here now! why I just said that. Um, I've watched a lot of other gamers play this game, like like Jacksepticeye and a whole bunch of other guys uh, and gals, and some of them made a little statement about one of my lines and to the fact that, and they all said, back away from the microphone. Now, when you're a voice actor and you're really, really into it, Sometimes you forget how close you are to the microphone, especially when you're in character and you're really into it and you're trying to bring the character out and you yell and it distorts what you're saying because you're too close to the microphone. So when it came time for my line, Jack Septic guy was like, Woo, oh, back away from the microphone, man. <laughs> no joke, that's what he said. So, and as you heard, uh, well, at least from, my, from, from what I'm hearing, he kind of sounded a little distorted too, but he was in character and he, he he was bringing it. So whoever was playing the junkie, you brought it, baby. Everybody brought it in this game. Such an honor to be in a game with all these wonderful voice actors. I should probably leave him alone, poor guy. And that's what happens, y'all. We tend to clip, we tend to distort, we tend to peak, and all that is uh, audio engineering talk. Yeah, like I know anything, right? Hey, dude. Love the shirt, man. You look like one of the... Eternals. Yang, <laughs> yang. Got any change? Sure, I have a couple dollars. Yeah. Better than nothing. Too. Thanks, You're kid. I haven't seen you around here before. I moved in not too long ago. I'm usually studying or at my classes, so that's probably why. Oh, a college Ooh, girl, huh? Oh, college girl. You know about what they say about them college girls, they be going wild and stuff. <laughs> what are you studying? I'm pursuing a career in education at the moment. It's comedy. Come on, it's comedy. I'm being silly. Okay. Nice. That's what I got my bachelor's yeah, in. You got, you, got, you got a bachelor's in what? Warming your hands? Oh, that's great. I hope I can find a gig soon afterwards. If not, my sleeping bag has hey, room for two. I don't think so. Let's get out of here. Yeah, you got a bachelor. You got a bachelor's in creepyism. And you, grab, you graduated creepy cum laude. <laughs> Yo, this guy here is a beast. He is savage. Whoever played the bus driver, you nailed it, dude. Nailed it. Where are you heading at this hour? If you don't mind me asking. All right, man. Like, like, like in the morning, he, he instead of gargling with mouthwash, he gargles with whiskey and cigarettes. <laughs> the laundromat on the outside of town? Not sure I believe that. Pretty late to be doing laundry. That's a hell of a voice, though. Hell of a voice. Good good job, whoever played the bus driver. Hey, if you're looking to score, I have a good deal just for a pretty little thing like you. Oh, creepy level Def Con 1. You won't even have to pay cash if you know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean, but, um... <laughs> How about you just drive the bus and I'll pretend you're not a desperate loser? Whatever, bitch. Ooh. Sit the fuck down so I can get this piece of junk rolling again. Damn, savage! Ooh, bus driver savage! Another one rides the bus, rides the bus, uh, and another comes on, and another gets off, another one rides the bus, hey, I'm gonna sit by you, another one rides the bus, bow, no. Weird Al Yankovic, what y'all know about that? <laughs> now we're gonna play the game up to a certain point, and then we're gonna end it, and I wanna see you guys next week. This 
character right here, ladies and gentlemen, is going to go down in history as the creepiest character, the most memorable creepy character in independent gaming history. He it, worthy of cosplay. The voice actor nailed it as I look out the window. Hey, what you looking at? It's so dark out. I can't even see the street. Scoop it up. Oh! Like I said, you know the jump scares come, but and you know it, and you played it before, but they always seem to get you each and every time. Hello. Hello. May I sit beside you? No. There's plenty of other seats, so I don't see why you would need to do that. May I... May I sit beside you? Are you deaf? Creepy. Do I need to get the driver to throw you off? You're going to die tonight. I mean... I mean, really? What? You're going to die tonight. I've seen it. Tonight is your last night on Earth. Mm. You are walking straight into your doom. Can't you see that? You and that child inside you. How did you... You will be found. Just like all the others. Ripped open, your insides displayed for all the angels above to look down and see. Oh yes, of that I am certain. It doesn't matter how many times you play this game, that part... Please, just stop talking. Yeah, stop, stop talking. May I sit beside you? Mm -hmm. All right, miss. This is your stop. And we exit the bus. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the opening credit. Torture Star Video presents... A game by Black Eyed Priest, Jordan King, and Henry Jorge. Big shout out to all y'all. Blood wash. That's what I love about these games. They play like like classic 80s campy horror films. And the story is wonderful. Yeah, Olivia Steele, Devante, Buzz. Kinda, Ben, Lawrence. Amanda, Kinda, Jar, Joe Reese, Matt, Paul, Anthony. Michael, Princess Pow Pow, Rebecca, and Yub as the pizza dude. Yes. Music by Max and Moon. I tell you, y'all, this this is this is a great game, story wise, pace wise. Uh, I mean, this this game is just replayable like all the time, you know. Sounds. <laughs> yes, what is it? Oh, um, are you all really open all night? We're open all night, but I take my naps at midnight, so you better not need anything after that. Oh, okay. I'll be sure not to need anything. Yeah, we'll see. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at this point, we're going to call it a night, since I can only really record about 29 minutes at a time on this camera. But I think this is enough to get started. I will see you in the next video for part two 
of blood wash right here on popcorn, coffee, and joysticks. Love you to life, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.